Today is Tuesday, January 11th, 2022. For the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. Um, first, uh, more of a personal update for me. Um, so I've been off uh, from these updates more or less for the last two weeks. Um, and it has been a, <laughs> a strange two weeks. Um, when last we left off, right before Christmas, I was um, flying out to Washington, Washington State uh, to spend the holiday with my family. Uh, well, my flight was canceled. Um, and, uh, and my sister tested positive for COVID. So, um, Stacy and Ailish ended up being out there already by the time everything, um, went sideways and I was here, uh, for the week. Um, not to worry too much. My, my sister is fully recovered. Um, Stacy and Ailish and I are all back in the same place. Um, you know, it's, it's not the ideal way to spend Christmas. It's not how we, um, set up the holiday to go. Um, but we all live in the world as it is, not the world as it ought to be. And, um, and all of us are navigating these complex challenges, uh, ranging from the COVID-19 pandemic to increasing severe weather related to climate change. And, and all of those things have real impacts on real lives. But that was actually uh, two weeks ago. Last week, I spent the week um, on study leave in class. Um, I, I was taking a course um, for my doctorate of ministry on uh, adaptive leadership and church systems. We really took time in the course to reflect on where we are right now um, as churches. The cohort of DMIN students that I've been in began our studies together in spring of 2020. So we've spent the last year and a half, almost two years now, working through case studies, reading lists, jokes about pastoring with young children for pretty much the whole length of the pandemic. The first formal case study I presented to this group was back in May of 2020, if you can remember that. Um, and the, the case study, we were workshopping how best to communicate in this daily update format, the guidance from the UUA that we would likely need to have our building closed through the end of the year 2020. <laughs> Remember that? Remember that update? I sure do. It was when we first went from saying this will be a thing lasting a couple weeks, maybe a couple months to, oh, we're going to be in it for a little while. And we're at the point now, the, this cohort, it's about six of us who've been together the whole time, where one, we know that this is hard for all of us, for all the churches that we're serving, and that the best way through it is to support each other. And two, we know that none of us know where this is going. None of us. Not any people in the cohort, not the professors and church leadership that we're taking classes from, not our collective wisdom. Nobody knows where this is going because nobody's done this before. We can, we can make guesses. It seems likely now that the pandemic is not going to end suddenly. And so we can infer then that we're not going back in our churches to how things were in 2019. Which is sad, because I actually really liked um, where we were in Lincoln and where we were going in 2019. But instead, right now, we're in this liminal space where we aren't what we were and not yet what we're becoming. And liminal spaces are, are rich, complex places to be. And so my hope is that, that we spend some time here. Even though it is the nature of, of liminal space to want to get to the next thing, to want to become what we are becoming, it behooves us to, to wait for a moment and say, what is it now? What is the lesson of this moment? 
So this spring in, in 2022, um, I, will, I will get that year wrong at least once in a daily update sometime in the next week. I hope we spend time in that liminal space. We spend time connecting with each other, connecting with this community, and dreaming up what it is we are becoming together. Have a great night, and I will see you soon.